everyone! So I really hope I'm not alone in this, but I'm really bad when it comes to completing personal photography projects. So things that I shoot just completely for myself or just completely for fun. Um, so this time last year, Dan and I traveled to Europe. We went to Scotland to do photography and videography for a wedding, which was absolutely amazing. And obviously we edited and delivered that footage straight away to the couple. And then I also managed to edit my vlog from Scotland, which is up on my channel if you guys wanna watch that and all my photos from Scotland as well. So after doing some more exploring around Europe, we went to a few different countries and cities and took so many photos while we were there. It was time to come back to Sydney and when we got home, work kind of started to take over. I put priority to my wedding clients and my photography clients and always make sure I deliver and edit their photos and stuff on time. And all my personal projects, so all the things that I shot while I was in Europe kept getting pushed back and back and back and back and fast forward to today which is like almost a whole year later and I still hadn't edited any of that footage. So I thought no this has to stop and I have to make time to edit this stuff because I was really proud of the photos that I took and I was really happy with the video that I filmed and I really like being able to share with you guys a different side of my photography that's not essentially like professional models and portrait photography because I truly love doing landscape and travel photos and I want to be able to share that with you guys as well. So this is part one of my trip to Austria. I finally got around to editing the photos and the video and I really hope you guys enjoy watching. So I'm going to start cutting to a little bit of footage. First up, Dan and I were staying in Gdańsk, Poland while we were in Europe because we like to stay with his family so we can spend some time with them. And we woke up very early one day around four or five in the morning and caught a train to Warsaw where we caught up with Karol, who is Dan's cousin. And in the morning we filmed the How to Pose Males Who Are Not Models video with Karol. Yes, that is how long ago <laughs> this trip was. And we had so much fun filming that video and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you wanna watch it, I'll leave it linked down below. And then Karol gave us a nice little tour of Warsaw, which is where he currently lives. And we waited until his girlfriend, Gosha, had finished work. And we all hopped into his little Skoda, his car, and made a road trip to Vienna, Austria. We drove throughout the entire day, so we made it to Vienna at night, but we stayed uh, in a hotel and then woke up early the next morning to explore the city. And while we were exploring, I obviously took as many photos as I possibly could. And these are some of the shots that I took and some before and afters so you guys can see how I like to edit my photos. So we were in Austria for a total of about five days from memory and we did a lot of driving around the country while we were there and did so much exploring. So this is part one of the vlog and I'm gonna leave you guys with the footage that I filmed while I was there. Hey everyone, today I am in Austria. We are walking around exploring. We just made it to Hallstatt. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And we are currently trying to find a coffee. <laughs> so for today's video, I want it to be just a vlog of what we're getting up to and show you behind the scenes of the photos that we're taking. I'm currently vlogging on the Sony a7 III with the Sony 28mm f2 and I have my Canon 5D Mark IV with the Canon 35 1.4 Mark II. So I'll be using both these cameras to take photos on the Sony just to do the whole video on. Um, yeah, so I guess it'll also be kind of like an unofficial comparison or test between the 28 and the 35 too. I'll try to take some of the same photos so you guys can see like the differences. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Wow. Gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Ah, I'm so happy. I'm also really excited that today it's kind of rainy and overcast. The first two days that we were here in Austria, we were in Vienna and Vachau, Va Va I don't know how to say it, um, which is like a wine vineyard region. And it was just like bright, sunny all day, which is cool when you're traveling. But for photos, I feel like traveling photos can fall a little bit flat when it's just harsh sun all the time. So I'm so excited that we got to see Hallstatt while it's raining because there is beautiful clouds and fog surrounding the mountains. And I feel like the photos are going to turn out really moody, which I absolutely love. I think we're going to start taking a few portraits here 
on that little ledge because I like the wooden kind of style and all you can see is water around us. So I'm gonna ask Dan to take a few photos of me. Is it okay? No. <laughs> Also, are you guys just totally sick of seeing me in this jumper? <laughs> it's literally the warmest thing that I own, so I, yeah, have just been wearing it all the time now. It's been featured in at least, I don't know, five videos on my channel. I'm gonna take a photo of this view right here. I'm gonna try and use a slightly higher aperture than usual because everyone always tells me off that I shoot landscapes in 1.4. So we're gonna go for 2.2. And just cause I'm holding you guys, I'm using live view mode to just double check my exposure, which isn't that accurate. I wouldn't recommend to do that. And we'll get a couple of photos on the Canon and then I will get some photos on the Sony as well. And we can compare what these two shots look like. You can also compare dynamic range as well because the buildings here to the left are quite dark and then the clouds to the right are super bright. So we'll see how that edits. Those photos didn't work out too good because I didn't notice the rates that were in the floor of the photo. So we're gonna try and get some portraits with the yellow building in the back instead. And this portrait shoot, we're gonna do the 28 and the 35. Oh my gosh, it's so bright, I can't even open my eyes. By the way, can you guys hear me properly now? I'm so dumb and I put the microphone cable in the wrong spot. I put it here instead of here. So that's super annoying. And I also have a really, really bad feeling that I did that while we were in Scotland as well, which I really, fingers crossed I did not do that, but it is what it is. So we made it up to the top of a mountain. What was this place called, Carol? Uh, this is Schnitzel Burger Town. <laughs> no, it's Dachstein, Dachstein City. We're pretty high up in elevation at the moment because it's spring, but there's still a whole lot of snow around us. We wanted to go on the Skywalk, the Luke Skywalker, as we've been calling it, but it closed as of yesterday, so we have the worst luck ever. Um, so we're just stuck down here, but otherwise the cable goes all the way up into the mountains. I'll show you guys right now. So it, go, it goes from that building all the way up to there. But we don't get to see that today. So the next test we're going to do with both the lenses is going to be like a tiny portrait with a big landscape. And I think this would be the perfect place to do it. So Dan, can I get you to go stand over there? 
I'm gonna take some photos of you. So in terms of framing, Dan is kind of getting lost in the background here because of these trees. So I might try and shoot ah! <laughs> this way so he's very clear. And then I want to move back. Dan! <laughs> I want to move back as much as possible so... Oh my god. <laughs> so we can see the top of the mountains here. I think he's missing me on purpose. <laughs> I think this is... Ah! I think this is the kind of framing that I'm going to go for. I'll try and get his full body in the shot and then I'll also get a few where I crop out his legs and he's super tiny. Dan, you're making this video horrible. <laughs> oh. It's like that scene in Seinfeld where they go to the movies and George and Jerry are like arguing about something. So Elaine, when she goes to buy the tickets, she's like, one adult and two children, please. I'm sorry for the child over here. That was like the most shakiest footage ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for the cannon first. I'm gonna shoot this at, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna shoot this at one over 8,000 and F 2.2 hopefully is enough. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna get so much muscles by <laughs> taking photos and filming at the same time. Ooh, that looks so cool. I need 2.5. Do you, you're blending into the background there. That looks really cool just walking around. Model for me. That looks so pretty. I might go 2.8 even. Can you come back? All right, let me review. It's your turn, Sony 28. <laughs> How are you treating the trusty scholar? Well, you gotta chill it. We'll go faster. <laughs> All right, on the way to our next destination, we stopped off on the side of the road because I want to test out the 28 and the 35 on close up portraits with this in the background. I think it'll look pretty cool. Oh, Dan's fixing my eyes, so. <laughs> Was I white that whole time? So yeah, I'm gonna take some portraits of Dan against this in landscape, I think, and then Dan will take some photos of me in portrait. We'll try and crop it as close as possible just to see what the two lenses look like. Can I get you to stand up? I think maybe that way so we don't get the red a little bit more. Yeah. So I think I'll try and crop it about there. So that is all I have for today's video. This is just part one of my Austria vlog. I feel like my travel vlogs always end up being like half an hour long. So I thought I would kind of chop it up so we have shorter sections to watch. 
but there is still more to come. I'm going to be editing that next this week and uploading it for you guys to watch next week. <laughs> Out of the 28 and 35 millimeter comparisons that I did, I ended up really preferring the 28 millimeter shots a little bit more than the 35. I feel like that focal length really suited the locations that we were at and the style of photos that I was shooting. I really liked how, and I'll include some of the photos up on the screen while I'm talking, how you could just see that little bit more of the landscape and I was able to capture the very tops of mountains and things like that. So for this trip, I definitely enjoyed shooting on the 28 millimeter a little bit more than the 35, which is a big surprise for me. And also if you would like to see some more examples at a portrait photo shoot on the 28, I have since <laughs> done a video about that. So I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys thought of the locations and the photos that we took down in the comments below. And let me know what you think of these kinds of travel landscape photography videos. I would really love to make a few more of these because I really enjoy doing that type of photography. So if I go on a trip uh, somewhere in Sydney, I will bring you guys along and film another video. But I'll see you next week for part two. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!